Brought to you by Crown Care Travel Insurance from Crown One. When you travel, take care. Crown Care. Well, with the cold temperatures that have gripped Canada from coast to coast, I'm sure you're itching for a nice warm vacation. While well, the Caribbean is looking pretty good, Florida looks nice. Most of Cuba, we do have a line of thunderstorms moving through eastern Cuba, heading toward Haiti. Dominican Republic clear, Mexico clear, especially around the Yucatan Peninsula. Towards Puerto Vallarta and Cancun, we're looking at things a little more variable, but good conditions overall. And here's a look at your forecast. Well, not just the Arctic out for a warning, but winds continue to cause problems so long as this is for fun. That's right, and they just issued a wind warning for the Queen Charlotte. South to southeast winds between 40 and 60 kilometers per hour, possible gusts up to 100. So windy conditions there, and with that, of course, we have the snowfall warning for Victoria, about 4 to 8 centimeters by your Friday morning. Well, a busy night ahead for me. This Weather Network Stormwatch is brought to you by CarStar. We're going to take a look at this. You cut that guy off. I'm sorry. I didn't do it on purpose. Well, we have lots of important things to get to. Uh, we have all kinds of systems moving into uh, southern and central Ontario, one major system, really. So yes. let's get to it. Let's take a look at the radar and look at this mess across southern Ontario. Folks, it is all rain right now. Near Sault Ste. Marie, some uh, flakes in the area. Snow, of course. And, of course, towards Ottawa, we have light rain right now. But the farther southwest you go, the heavier it becomes. Look around Windsor, where you see it's yellow and orange. That's where it's particularly heavy right now. And before we join Michelle Skinner in studio to take a look at what your current conditions are, let's take a look at how cold it was today. Record-breaking temperatures for April 8th through Winnipeg, getting down to minus 10. Brandon, minus 9 almost. Same situation through Dolphin. And we've got cold temperatures just about all the way across the country, from Alberta all the way through to Quebec. A large ridge of high pressure and a large mass of Arctic air is bringing all these cold temperatures. Michelle, we join you for our current conditions. Thank you, Tara. And yes, we do have all that cold air, but I'll tell you something. Along with the cold air, we have clear skies. See how it looks all across Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, even into B.C., northwestern northeastern Ontario. That's all from the same area of high pressure and, of course, along with that, we have the cold air. Let me draw your attention to the east. First of all, we have a lot of cloud over Newfoundland and some rain for the east and south coasts of Newfoundland currently. Uh, just some high cloud through the Maritimes right now. It looks a lot more cloudy than it is. That is high cloud being registered on our satellite picture. Behind that, we have mostly cloudy skies through southern Quebec into eastern Ontario, actually through all of the south, southwest, and the northeast of Ontario and some scattered flurries, lake effect flurries currently, and that's coming from very strong north-northwest winds currently through all of Ontario. Behind that, as I said, we have clear skies, even through the interior and the coast of B.C., what you see is scattered cloud, really high, thin cloud, not too, too much to tell you about at all right now. Here's our weather map that will show you what's what. There's the high in place, all the clear sky around it. Winds are fairly light. We have a front trough, actually, that's going through Ontario. That's responsible for the cloud. The strong winds, you see our lines of pressure, the isobars, fairly strong, fairly tight together, rather, indicating pretty strong winds, and they're coming from the north and northwest right now. A lot of cloud before or in front of this front as it moves through to the Maritimes, and we have that front from Newfoundland that's keeping things cloudy right now. Over to the west coast, do have a system of low sitting off coast, but it's just sprinkling a little bit of cloud in right now, really nothing much happening at all. There's a picture of our maps, or our winds, rather, and the directions, as I said, north and northwest all through Ontario. That's causing lake effect flurries. So a few flurries reported in Kingston and Trenton around the area of Georgian Bay and so on for the moment. We also have fairly mild south southwest winds currently going through the Maritimes and an easterly flow through parts of Alberta. This is how it looks across the prairies. Clear skies, of course, clear right through to the northwest, northeast of Ontario. And we have the cloud and the flurries around the Great Lakes right now. We heard 
concerned about the silliness that's coming from parts of northwestern Ontario, despite the 10 centimeters of snow on top of the six that fell in the past 24 hours? That's called silly in any person's language. Here's Tara to tell us all the story. He's absolutely correct. Five centimeters possible between Thunder Bay, which will see mostly wet snow, all the way toward the Manitoba border. We could be looking at about five centimeters on the ground. Northeastern Ontario, it's rain, not snow. That's the problem. 10 to 20 millimeters possible by Monday. So wet in Ontario. A lot of clouds go along with this system as well, covering most of southern Ontario. We do have a clear area, and that is covering Montreal and Ottawa. Ottawa will start to cloud over in the next hour or two, and then we'll see some showers in that area. Montreal will start to see the showers by dawn. Even into Atlantic Canada, a lot of cloud associated with another low-pressure system that is sitting over Labrador. A little bit of clear break shot coming through for the maritime provinces, but Newfoundland is fairly covered in cloud in the interior, looking at some scattered showers at this hour. Clear and calm through western Canada. Let's take a look at the wind situation. Well, thanks to a couple of ridges of high pressure, one, two, three, we're looking at very light winds all the way from Manitoba right back to British Columbia. And as Murray was mentioning earlier, we had very strong winds in Manitoba over the weekend. Officials feared that that would cause some problems with the dikes, with the high winds that those, high waves that those winds would generate. But right now we're looking at them calming down and they'll continue to calm overnight.